What's up, Chimmy Squad? Welcome back to our channel. If you guys are new here, I'm Shay. I'm Eunice. And due to popular popular demand, we're gonna be trying Nepali food for the very first time. <laughs> My stomach is growling. She's very hungry. Before we get started, you already know what time it is. Time to give a shout out to the first five commenters that commented hashtag Chimmy Squad on our last mukbang. Big, big shout out to Juicy J, Pangar Nick and Jamir IOMT, Nie R, Bangtan Army 13, and Arima. Yay! Thank you so much for sure to comment now for a shout out on our next mukbang. Comment right now. So today we found a Nepalese restaurant fairly near us. Pretty close. Yeah, pretty close. And we tried to get the most authentic Nepalese food. First of all, the ambience in the restaurant was beautiful. Felt very authentic. And we tried looking at the menu and there was so many different variety of options, but we decided to choose these. So we got lamb tali combo plate. It comes with vegetables, lentil soup, got some rice, naan, pickled veggies, momo, and beef chili. Yum. Choice of drink today, sweet lassi, not mango lassi. Sweet lassi. Mm -hmm. Let's say grace. Amen. Amen. Ooh, I'm excited to try this. I know a lot of you recommended it. Mm. Mm. Bomb. This tastes like the lassi but without the mango part. Yeah, exactly. I think this is original, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You guys, we're gonna attempt to eat with our hands. Uh, right hands, not left this time. We learned a lot from you guys. Yeah. So right hand, <laughs> I actually really miss eating with hands. Me too. We're gonna use these spoons to scoop out some of the soup. So, which one should we eat first? Pick some of the lamb. Ooh, that looks amazing. It looks so creamy and mm -hmm. gravy-licious. When I tell you the smell is just overpowering in this room. It's it is. so good. All those spices. Mm -hmm. Yummy. Really get that juice in there. And if you guys noticed, our tray is back. Yeah. <laughs> for our day one chimney squad. It made a comeback for you guys. Yes. Okay. Okay. Let's see if I remember how to do this. Gotta mix it with the rice. I'm so bad at this, but um. <laughs> oh, I kind of got it. I think. All right. Mmm. Mm. Oh, that's bomb. It's spicy. I love it. Mmm. 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 It is spicy. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mm. We got medium spicy. That's all. I mean, it's perfect. Guys, we're gonna flip the tray so it's easier for us to eat. But you guys can see everything we have. Yes. Oh my god, that's so good. Bomb. Mm. Okay, Um, I wanna try the momo. What sauce do we eat it with again? That sauce, right? This is the sauce we're supposed to eat it with. So I heard this is like a popular ne Nepalese street food. It's pretty interesting because we've been eating a lot of like dumpling type of food mm -hmm. from different countries. And I noticed they always start with an M. Like ours is mandu, there was manti, mantu, and now this is momo. Mm-hmm. Oh, get really in there. This is chicken. This looks the most similar to Korean dumpling. Yeah, like steamed mandu. Yeah. Mmm. Like that. The sauce is like kind of Korean-ish. Mm-hmm. A lot of spice in the sauce. Mm, mm, that's really good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Should you try the beef chili? Yeah. Get some pepper on there. Mm. Are we supposed to eat everything with hands? Because I don't want them to feel like cringe. That's <laughs> true, but... Let us know. It does taste better with your hands though. It like does. that, injong. Or like, how do you say that in English? Oh, uh, facts. I don't facts. know. Facts. Yeah, yeah, facts. <laughs> like facts, yeah. <laughs> okay. Beef chili. Mm. Mm. It's kind of sweet, but like spicy. Mm hmm. Mm. Very flavorful. Mm hmm. It kind of has like the familiar Asian spices that I'm used to. Mm. It's very meaty. I love it. Mm. Mm. Oh, sorry. Okay, no more handshaking. Did. Since we're eating with hands, no handshaking. <laughs> I think this is pickled yogurt sauce, so we'll just kind of use it as we go. Mm. I wanted the momo. That's bomb. I know, it's really good. Wow. Mmm, what's mm. that? Chicken. Mmm, it's really good. Oh, no! I like how it's not too dry. 
It's like very moist inside. And this sauce goes perfect. I wonder, is this sauce kind of like turmeric based? Because it's very orange. I think so, I would assume, but really good on the go food. Mm hmm. Mmm. You try some of the lentils and vegetables with the rice? Mmm. I'm gonna try with the naan. Oh, yes. I forgot about the naan. Can't forget about the naan. Ooh. Naan is like one of the best carb creations ever. Seriously. It's so good. This one is, I think, vegetables? Mmm. Or it could be lentil too. Can you guys help us? <laughs> they both kind of have lentil looking yeah. things in there. Mm. Oh wow, you put that whole thing in your mouth. <laughs> mm. I'm very hungry today. The beans inside kind of remind me of pat. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's actually really good. It feels really hearty and healthy at the same time, yet flavorful. Mm -hmm. mm. Took the words right out of my mouth. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. Now some of the lentil soup. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. This one is a little bit more soury. Mm -hmm. mm. What is this? Ginger? It's like bamboo or something. I don't know. It's good. Oh yeah. Good crunch. Mm. Back in for some more beef chili. It's like sweet and sour at the same time. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go in for the lamb tali. So good. I really like the gravy. Right? Mm -hmm. Very flavorful, I love. Yum. It's a very nice spice kick to it. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Mm. Has a dark taste, like a smoky. Mm. I really like how the lamb doesn't have a grainy taste to it. Mm. It's very, it tastes very fresh. Mm -hmm. It does. Oh, I love the spice level of this. It's perfect. Getting red. It's good. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> I wish we got more momos. Mm hmm. I'm like eyeing it, but saving it. Mmm. I'm eyeing it too. I kind of just want it. No, you want? Mmm. If you're gonna eat it, fine. This is our last momos, you guys. Really regretting that we didn't get more. I saw that there's different kinds of momos like pan fried and steamed. We got the steamed one. Which one do you guys recommend? Mm. Oh, okay. Mm. Mm. I naturally like steamed dumplings better, so it's really good to me. Mm -hmm. I usually like fried dumplings, but that one's really good. It's bomb. <sighs> Pickled veggies here. Mmm. Let me try this. Oh, what kind of vegetable is this? Look. How is it? Ooh, mellow. It's really pickled. Ooh, that's sour. <laughs> really? I didn't expect that. Let me try it with It's good, bite. but I just didn't expect it because I took a big bite. No, you don't want to eat the whole thing. It's very sour. No, this is oh. um, the lamb. Oh. Mm. Then I'll try. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a bone in here or something. Right? It's sour. <laughs> I guess you have to eat it little by little, but the oh, flavor is there. Flavor blast. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. It's good, but very 
little at a time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nibbles, just little nibbles. Mm -hmm. That explains why they gave us so little. I was like, this is so little. One goes a long way. I don't know a lot about Nepalese culture, but one thing I do know is that they're really good with their hands because my eyebrow lady is from Nepal. Oh yeah, Repshan. She's the only person I trust, like only. I went to so many different places. She's just like hands of magic. She has the best reviews on Yelp. Yeah, like I don't go if she's not there. <laughs> mm. I'm gonna tell her I tried this. On the menu, it said that the chili shrimp is also very popular in Tibet. So let us know. I said Nepal and Tibet. Mm -hmm. And it's really interesting because the beef is thinly sliced. Mm -hmm. Kind of has a jerky feel to it. Mm. Yeah, right? Like a very chewy jerky feel. But it was able to soak up all the flavor really well. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm gonna put some yogurt. Sorry guys. These little bits of vegetables too. Perfect combo. We do some yogurt. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is kind of hard. I don't know when I will master the art of eating with my hands, but... I feel like we're getting better though. The rice is hard. It's like, it just keeps running away from you. Yeah. Mm. This is so good. Mm. I think they said this was like the national dish of Nepal. The dalbat. Very good. Oh, so very, good. Very good. Oh, no much so. And I like eating the vegetables on lentils with the naan. Remember, I'm not a vegetable person, so if I'm like... She's really not. In, yeah. Mm. The flavor's so good. No, what's done? You gotta portion correctly. I know. I'm just really into yogurt drinks lately. It's probably because of all the mukbangs we're doing. Like, we're used to eating it with our meal now. Yeah, it's so good. Do you guys see any of your favorite dishes here? Or if you don't, then comment it down because we want to try a lot of different other Nepal food. Mm. We saw like um, curry, masala, but we tried all those things already. Granted that it might taste more different with Nepali spices, yeah. but we wanted to try something new, you know? Mm -hmm. Maybe next time we'll try curry. Let's take the last one. Mm. Just gonna get all that masala in there. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Killed it. Gonna oh. do the mixity mix. I think oh, this is the momos. So good. My favorite. Definitely the star of the meal. Yeah. Some right the sauce. Oh, yeah, give me some too. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> that was a burp, not a fart. <laughs> I'm sorry, it just can't help it sometimes. It really sounded like a fart. Mm. And the lamb is so soft. Whoever cooked it, you did a good job. It's so tender and juicy. We know who cooked it. It was that guy that's coming in and out. Mm. It was like this young chef, I think. He did a really good job. Mm -hmm. Pretty sad. This is my last bite. That's your last bite. Oh. Yeah, of the lamb. Gosh. Actually, that wasn't lamb, that was a chili. Mm. The chili beef. <laughs> Mine was a lamb. Mm. Mm. So good. It kind of reminds me of like texture of karai. Mm, I love karai. Oh, some pickled veggie. Mm. Mm. It looks like the skin of the vegetable is still there. Like as if it was a lime, but with the lime peel. Mm, I don't. Yeah, I get that little peel feeling. But there's a bone here. What is this? Is a bone in there? Look. 
Wow. Mm. One tiny bite at a like, Ooh. The Seems aroma like, um, is crazy. A very exotic fruit or something. Mm hmm. Mm. Definitely gonna kill this rice. I'm just sad I don't have more lamb tally to put on top. Maybe I'll put some of this. Kind of like mixed up. Whoops. The lamb tally is like lingering in my mouth. Mm. Mm. Spicy. Spicy in a good way. Gosh, this is so hard. I don't know how you do it. You guys have been saying Eunice is a lot better, and I agree. I don't know how she does it. You know, some people say that you're really good at your mustard, too. Really? Mm hmm. It's been a while, so I'm kind of rusty. It's hard. I guess the best way is to just bring your mouth down. And shove it in with your thumb, yeah. Mm. I find it really satisfying when they kind of make it into like a snowball and mm. it just sticks together and you hear that. It's like years and years of experience. We're still not there, we're rookies. That's true. Mm. Mm. I feel like a lot of our chimney squats that are from Nepal have been waiting for this. Thank you so much for waiting, honestly. I you know. Especially during COVID, a lot of restaurants were like not open. Yeah, but I think they're starting to open up again because yeah. we were able to find it. Yeah. But let me tell you, exceeded our expectations. Definitely. We'll link this restaurant down below if any of you guys want to try it out. Highly recommend. I would say the momos and the lamb tally, like, you must. Must, must, must. Mm. Even my burps are so flavorful. <laughs> It's gonna stay in your gut. Mm -hmm. This is definitely one of those foods that I'm gonna be burping the whole day. Mm -hmm. The naan with this sauce is actually really good, the beef chili sauce. This might be weird to you guys, but. <laughs> mm. Right? So we're done with our meal, but they gave us a side of rice pudding. I think it's called kheer. Mm -hmm. Let's try. Mm -hmm. Looks milky. Oh. Ooh. Mm. Cinnamon -y. It tastes like that one Mexican dessert. Arroz con leche. Yeah. <laughs> Which literally means like rice with milk. Yeah. Yeah. It tastes like that. Yeah, it does kind of taste like that. But like with different rice. It's good. To be honest, I'm not really a big fan of rice desserts. But it's pretty good. The soupy part is good. Mm. Yeah, the soupy part. It's like a thick consistency of the milk. That was so good. Oh, I want more lamb tali. That lamb tali was really good. Like, really good. I could lick this off literally. Thank you guys so much for tuning into today's episode. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. Hit that like button, subscribe, post notification bell. Ding. If you haven't already, make sure to go ahead and follow our TikTok account and our joint Instagram account. And we'll see you guys next episode. We'll see you guys then. Bye bye.